Hiya, hiya. It's Joey Reynolds on location with the Joey Reynolds wrap in front of our palm tree with long sleeves. Well, it's a cold day in Florida. It's a halfway house. I'm like, here is halfway. You know, it's on the way. It, it, it's, it's here. At least I got hair. Uh, Chris Rock got a, a facelift. I liked him. I think he was funnier when he was uh, had separated teeth and all this stuff. I, you know, he was funny as a comic. Now he's a serious matinee idol at 50-something years old, you know. That's what happens. You know, you get money and you all of a sudden you become beautiful and your, your act is dead. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> but we are living in a society without any comedy now because Trump is gone and he was definitely a shock jock. You know, every day you would find something funny with him because he was he was stirring it up. He's, he was a guy like Howard Stern and Imus and myself. You know, we stirred everything up all the time. And uh, we were raccoons in a woodpile. And that's the way it goes. But we got a cup of Joe. A perfect cup of Joe. Keep writing those checks, Joe. They keep saying that he's uh, uh, got dementia or something. I don't care. Just write those checks out. I don't care. <laughs> You can get someone with dementia to write those checks. I'll be write write two of them for me while you're at it. <laughs> the perfect cup of Joe, you know. Well, America runs on Duncan. Joe's going to run on Duncan. <laughs> I'm going to get the runs on Duncan. But I'll tell you what's happening. You know, uh, there's a product here that I think is going to change your life. It's a uh, men's African black soap. Now, since there's inclusion and black people who are looking and starving for jobs on radio, television, and in the films, getting having their day, you know, and uh, always in sports, but now into the arts and the entertainment. So uh, I'm going to have to keep washing until I change my face, my color. I'm even drinking my coffee differently. Speaking of Dunkin' Donuts, uh, America runs on black is what it is. <laughs> hey, so what? It's a fact of life, you know. I mean, even Gail King is, uh, she's whitening. And I'm darkening. Somewhere along the line, we're gonna we're gonna morph, you know, and and I will become a lookalike of somebody who uh, a Neanderthal guy, an Indian. <laughs> I don't care what nationality you are or where you're from. All I know is you're right here now. And uh, Joe, keep writing those checks. That's all I. Can. <laughs> I'm looking for my check. I <laughs> uh, don't care about anything else except money in this country. Come on, let's get honest about it. That's the only reason anybody likes to have the economy good. Do you notice that since the Democrats are in office, the gas has gone up? It was $1.99, now it's two fifty. Maybe I don't want to vote for this guy. <laughs> I'm looking and I'm saying, wait a minute. I'm getting that check, but the gas went up now. And uh, see, this is the way it goes. You, you're not going to have it both ways. you gotta, you got to just roll with the punches, you know. And believe me, we've had a lot of punches. See, we, we didn't think we were going to have any news. you got a country singer who became gay, another one that used the N-word, and now uh, uh, all the focus is on Nashville. See, Nashville has always been about homespun, folksy stuff. Now all of a sudden it's the controversy center of the country. The music is about the reality of life right now. It was in rock and roll. I mean, Motown was about the reality of life. And uh, we had war. What's it good for? Absolutely nothing. You know, that was uh, Edwin Starr. You know, we had we had a lot of songs that were sung. The Impressions, Amen, Amen, you know, which was the sign off for, uh, well, for a lot of people. But I think somewhere along the line, uh, our music is shifting into away from the hip hop into this country pop. Uh, and, and country pop hop it's it's just it's it's morphing everything is is a fusion you know it's the confusion uh, the food has changed you know we're putting so many different things in the food uh, we're, we're making it we're making the, the uh, recipes more complicated even McDonald's used to be a 15 cent hamburger now it's a two dollar uh, uh, treat with with, with onions and mustard and, and ketchup on the side, but really they're trying to get into this morphed food business. What is it called? Fusion. It is fusion, yeah. And I think Amer our taste is changing. You know, the American taste is changing. We like things that we never liked before and we don't like what we used to like. So that's it. You know, the only thing that remains the same is uh, that I don't have any money and I don't have a job and I'm an old man. <laughs> Oh, Eddie Murphy and and uh, and Chris Rock aren't working either. Nobody's working. You can't. There's no. <laughs> you can't have an audience, and you're not supposed to be in front of a, a crowd anymore. So, here I am. I have a split personality, so I have to. I have a hard time practicing separation. It's a uh, Reynolds rep.